Hi guys, so today we have F1 2020. So this is uh, one of the newest games of the uh, F1 saga per se, um, created by Codemasters. Now Codemasters has been around for a very long time and they're very experienced doing uh, exactly these types of games of uh, Formula One. Uh, also they have a few titles uh, invested in the past of uh, uh, MotoGP but uh, right now they're focusing on the F1's um, brand uh, every year. And this is their flagship right now, the F1 2020. And let me tell you about the changes that came with this particular uh, game. So, let's start with the most basic one, solo player. We have the driver career, which we had in the past. This was actually the, the campaign mode of uh, previous years, uh, way back until since the 1990s. Um, I remember playing this game uh, from Codemasters on the 1990s. I can't remember when I started playing um, this type of game uh, from Codemasters, but it was well back in the day. What do we have here? So this is the campaign mode, per se. This is your career. You create um, a persona, a character, and then you invest on his career. Now, this is a, since a, 2019 you can create um, characters female characters on this brand this is very uh, interesting and very in innovative and I cannot wait to see a woman driving on F1 for real this time okay uh, I think it's high time um, a woman gets behind the wheel of these terrific machines but for now, uh, we can create a female character here, um, and we have to start on the lowest ranks, if you so choose, okay? Uh, if you choose to start on the lowest ranks, then you can uh, actually pick and choose what team you want to go to. Of course, that will depend on the academy that you choose, uh, everything. So let me try and show you. So basically we have this character female. Welcome to the beginning of your Formula 1 journey. And what we have. Before competing at the top level, many drivers Let's will race in Formula hear 2. Here the tutorial. From this screen, you can choose from multiple Formula 2 experiences. The first offers a selection of short scenarios. The short season consists of a shortened Formula 2 calendar with one race per weekend. The full season contains every round with a feature Well, basically racing. what she is informing is and that finally, um, all of these three are tutorial seasons. And what are tutorial seasons? The F2 Championship. So, here you don't start on F1 right off the bat. If you want to go somewhere uh, on the F1 career, you need to start with these. I would actually recommend starting with these 12 races okay now if you do the 12 feature races and 12 sprint races because the the f2 championship is a little bit different um, than the f1 you have two types of races you have uh, a full race um, uh, at the beginning of the weekend and then you have a sprint race on the following day um, the sprint race being smaller in terms of uh, uh, length so here you have about 17 laps between uh, it, that, that depends from track to track uh, it can be as uh, far as uh, 22 laps on the sprint race uh, and as low as 15. So, before we continue, let me just lower here the sound a little bit. This was way too too um, too low, too too high.
Well, let's continue. Before we go any further, let me tell you what is this um, game prepared to. This is this game is prepared for VR. Okay, this is very interesting uh, and a mode to be experienced if you have the VR uh, setup connected to your PS4. Now, what do we have here? So, the solo campaign, I was uh, explaining to you about the, the, the driver career. And the driver career is exactly that. I started here, I shouldn't have, but I apologize. But sometimes the, the controls and the choices are a little bit confusing still because I've been um, playing a lot of uh, F1 2018 and 2019 to compare to this one. Um, now, the setup there was a little bit different and a little bit uh, more intuitive, but on this one it doesn't really come out short. That was actually operator mistake by my end. Now, uh, on the load screens, we always have those uh, tips and tutorials, and um, that's been going on for a long time on F1. Now, as I was explaining, the character setup, you pick and choose the character, and basically you start with um, the F2 season, 12 features, 12 sprint races. Then at the end, what happens is the following. Um, at the end you get to pick and choose depending on the academy that you've been on and the academy can be the Ferrari Academy can be many others Welcome let me just show you while choosing these um, very prestigious uh, companies uh, and racing um, companies you get to pick and choose what driver academy you want. So perha perhaps let's go through this. Uh, the driver academy of Mercedes driver academy. You get to pick and choose. My be mindful that you can pick and choose whatever team on F1 you want at the end of the, your F2 career. But these three teams that you see on the screen, uh, AMG, Petronas, uh, Mercedes. Uh, Williams Racing and BWT Racing um, will offer better conditions, better uh, salary, better wages. Ferrari Driving Academy. So here you can pick and choose um, better conditions on Ferrari, Haas F1 team and Alfa Romeo's Racing Horlan. Red Bull Driver Academy, of course you get to pick and choose between Aston Martin uh, Red Bull Racing and Scuderia Alfa Tori. This was um, uh, about a year ago on the previous uh, F1. This was um, this this team had another knee, name. It was uh, uh, Scuderia Toro Russo, but since they started to operate independently from Red Bull Racing, they um, got converted in Scuderia Alfa Tori. Renault Driver Academy, of course, on this one you can only pick and choose Renault DP World F1 team. McLaren Driver, ne Driver Academy, you get only better conditions on McLaren or you can pick and choose No Driver Academy and b basically you get no bonuses in terms of um, um, negotiating uh, better deals with um, these teams. So at the end you jump to the F1 uh, championship. You have to of course make a deal with a team and they have requisites that you need to meet um, from race to race. Be mindful that some of them will require you not to achieve a pole position. Um, others will require you to, although you get a pole position, you need to slow it down a bit, get overtaken by a couple of uh, other races so you can 
actually drive through 10, 15 other racers in one race. So they're quite unjust. So that's a, a minus symbol there. The, the, these challenges are a little bit stupid. That's it for the driver career. Um, basically the same as 2018 and 2019, uh, F1, F2 now is fully present with a full championship and you get to actually experience that uh, a lot and in my view it's quite enjoyable uh, as much uh, as um, F1 racing. Of course the F1s have uh, a lot more budget, a lot more gizmos, a lot more technology um that you can employ during the race and during qualifying and practice uh, of course on the f2 you basically just press the throttle and go now this is a big change since the 1991 um f1 uh game you couldn't create your own team. I don't know if this was some sort of deal they had with FIA, but you couldn't create your own team. Finally, after almost 20 years, we get to um, actually create our own team. Um, as you can see, I created my own, Porto Wine Ricardo Rivas. Um, the main driver is uh, myself, Ricardo Rivas, and um basically the team is portal wine you can rename the team whatever you want you can rename your pilot whatever you want and let me show you what's what of course you get to pick and choose your pilot okay boss carl here let's get this team up and first enter a team name first let's enter a team name let's Call it Review Writer. Be mindful of this name, guys, because um, in a bit we're going to have real changes here to the YouTube channel. Be mindful of this name because uh, in the future you'll see it a lot more. Now, let's choose our primary sponsor for this season. So, here you get to pick and choose the sponsor, and, the, and with the sponsor comes money, but it comes with um, strings. So, this uh, sponsor here, a Japanese sponsor, just requires you to, f to complete a full season. Equinox, finish on the top 10 of the construction Constructors um, Championship. Earn 15 Constructors um, Championship points in a season uh, with sink shot fuel and so on and so forth. The more money they bring, yeah, the, the, the harder it is to fulfill their, their um, requirements. Let's pick and choose, uh, I don't know, this one. So we have the power units. The power units is basically the engine itself. Um, what do we have here? So we have Honda, Renault, Mercedes, Ferrari, and that's it. Uh, this was actually a bummer to me. I will, would want a fifth team here, Aston Martin. But it, 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 at least this year is um, not to happen. But it is what it is. We have four. That's good. So let's pick and choose one. We're not this much one. of a team without a second driver. Let's hear the driver. Here you get to pick and choose the second driver. Now, be mindful that you can only pick pick at the beginning these um, very unknown players. And who are they? They are F2 pilots that actually made a name for themselves on the championship and now they're jumping over to F1. Do not expect them to win race, races for your team though. They're very inexperienced, their ranking is very low. They can be middle fielders, if uh, you want to call it that. 
they can stick around the middle of the classification board but in most likelihood they'll be second last third last something like that so it will be up to you to bring the big money to the team or go bankrupt let's pick and choose this um russian pilot i'm not going to even pronounce his name looks like we can afford this power unit supplier and teammate go ahead and confirm if you're happy so let's, let's confirm or edit delivery will be running this season we can add more now delivery what is delivery here on this on on on, on f1 this is, is bringing as you can see uh, I already have a pre-made delivery, but uh, I'll show you more in a bit. Delivery is actually bringing a little bit of um, EA Games customization on Need for Speed to F1. This is very welcome on F1, okay? Finally, we get to pick and choose a car, pick and choose its colors, pick and choose the, um, the sponsors that we can put up. Uh, decals on it um, you name it you got it so let's sorry about this but let's try and create a new one so let's go through the live deliveries that we have available we have standardized ones that you can pick and choose the color scheme and alter it whatever you want so for example simple flow you have two colors that you can um, edit. Accent, two colors. Needles, two colors. Uh, streamline, two col uh, three colors, sorry. Uh, sunburst default. This is the default that comes um, with the game. Uh, sunburst, two colors. Tristar, also a, a, a default, three colors. Venus, three colors, also a default. And Racenet. Racenet doesn't have a, a color scheme, you stick with this, okay? This is actually a sponsor of the game. As you can see, Codemasters Racenet. Racenet is their um, newest online service. We'll get to, the, to that in a bit. Um, this is actually gain in-game as you progress with the um, story of your team or your driver. This is We Race As One, this is um, LGBT uh, themed uh, with the colors uh, of that community and um, black in one side, white in another. This is actually a, a very interesting pattern, very welcome on F1. Uh, I'm very glad that they're embracing this campaign. We have also the end racism. Uh, this is a very new one. This is this is very new, actually, because this one is like um, how can I put this? This one came out more or less at the same time as the Black Lives Matter uh, campaign started to t to really kick off. So this was Codemasters' approach to. Uh, Black Lives Matter without being politically incorrect if you want to call it that um, This is a very interesting concept very uh, Beautiful concept of course um, Racism has no part to play on any sport on any society on any humanity so this is my message to um, the ones that uh, claim race is a factor it isn't you're wrong so uh, let's edit it. this one out we just pick this one the standardized one the default one And what is sponsor decals? You don't get to, to do this immediately. You have to gain more sponsors in order to actually place the decals on it. Since you only you're starting your team right now, you only get one sponsor, the main one. 
and you already put the decals as you so fitted on the next decals they'll pick and choose where wherever they place their decals but you can then edit out all the the, the decals the sponsor decals including the main one then you get to pick and choose your logo you can create a brand new logo by the way and this is actually the colors that you will see on your base of operations and on your box so as you can see pretty standard um, changes in customization but very welcome since we had absolutely no customization whatsoever basically we had customization very similar to this one but on multiplayer um, esports multiplayer but uh, very welcome on single player now basically you have the standard choices Grand Prix championships and time trials I don't need to explain this the, these ones to anyone Grand Prix is a single race championships you get to actually make your own championship and tr time trial is as the name says you versus time now multiplayer weekly event leagues ranked unranked land game split screen and previous week's results um now the previous week's results let's see what's going on here this will require you to have an internet connection of course and we'll pick and choose people that actually um scored big online so this is the weekly event um, this is actually ranked it um, creates the results for this list uh, so it's uh, Brazil uh, uh, Grand Prix uh, practice and qualifying then uh, when the practice and qualifying ends uh, the race will be on the following day and people will get online and play against one another course leagues you can actually um, belong to a guild on this game uh, which uh, has their own liveries uh, their own colors their own logo you name it you got it let's check it out now you can find a league create a league calendar your league story now let's create a league get to pick and choose the league you get to edit everything out color number two you have of course these um You have, of course, these uh, races that you can schedule out during the week. Of course, you can add it out. Everything here. As you can see here, you 
we have all these options. We get to have a private league or a public league. Let's create our league and see here. As you can see, um, the, you have the internal league standings, the calendar, you know, stuff to do every week. It's a very interesting concept as well. Now, this has um, been present on the uh, F1 games uh, for a quite a few years now. Esports. Now, you can participate on esports on this game. Um, be mindful that uh, you'll always be classifying uh, on the lowest of ranks, but if you really want to turn pro, here's your opportunity to do so. Of course, you have previous events results, and you have videos of the best players. Customization, I've already explained what this is. You can create your own character, uh, car liveries and colors and um, decal schemes, and create the badge of your team. Showroom, what is show showroom? Now this is like a, a library. You get to actually check out the beautiful cars of uh, this year as you can see here and or check out the F2 be mindful that the F2 always shows two cars why because each driver has their own sponsor so the cars although the liveries are identical the sponsor setup is different as you can see so Sergio, Sergio Sete Camera has a lot more sponsors than uh, Nicholas Latifi That's it. Of course, now you get to see the beautiful cars of the past. Nineteen eighty eight McLaren MP four four. This was driven by Alain Prost and Ayrton Senna. So this car is an oldie but a very goldy one it still holds the record of most races one in one championship so this car above all else above what they say what you may may say oh this looks like a, a car from the 1960s i don't care this car is a legend this car is also another legend. It won multiple, multiple races. It didn't gain the champion, the constructors' uh, championship, but it took Alain Prost very far. McLaren, uh, 1990 McLaren MP4 5B. Now this car is also legendary. It was driven by. Ayrton Senna and it was one of his last cars for McLaren. Since this new um, F1 2020 celebrates the 70 year history of uh, Formula One, I was uh, quite surprised that we don't have cars from the distant past from uh, the 1950s, the 1960s, the 1970s. I would very much appreciate that here. Unfortunately, this um, is not the case. However, we do have more cars from the past, specifically the ones that 
um, belong or belonged to the history of Michael Schumacher. Now, Michael Schumacher is one of the greats of this sport. A German driver that um, a couple of years ago uh, had an unfortunate uh, uh, accident on the snow while trying to save other people from um, a snowslide. He was uh, injured very seriously and is still struggling for his life. Of course, here uh, on Dr. Gamer Man, I wish him the best. Another legendary car, 1991 McLaren MP46, the last of Ay Ayrton Senna's McLarens. This car, I mean, when I look at it, I can still see the green and yellow helmet at the wheel. That man was a legend in itself and it will never be replaced. Williams. Now this was a bitter rivalry between um, Ayrton Senna and Nigel Mansell. Um, this car was the legendary car of Nigel Mansell and I still remember as a child seeing these two drivers going head to head um, on their cars competing and leaving leaving a lot of blood sweat and tears on the racetracks this was legend right here as well Benetton F Formula One now uh, 1994 this is Michael Schumacher's legendary Benetton this car doesn't look like an F1. It looks like a shark. And he's quite welcome to it. It's quite a beautiful car. Benetton Formula One, 1995, B195. Another one, this time the last of Michael Schumacher's cars on Benetton. 1996 Williams FW18, the legendary car and the last car ever to Mr. Ayrton Senna, the legend himself. He was killed on this car, on um, the Italian circuit of Imola and um, yeah. I still remember where I was that day. I think people from my age, we all do. Apart from that sad history, this car uh, brought many joy to Damon Hill as it won quite a few uh, races for him. A more modern aspect of the McLaren this time with no longer the typical red and white um, livery this is one of the first with this kind of um, uh, color design and beautiful bodywork the 1998 McLaren MP413 Michael Schumacher's legendary Ferrari. The the 2000 Ferrari F1 2000 legendary car on his own right Michael Schumacher's car that won him the driver's title and constructor's title 2003 Williams FW25 the last 
of the winning uh, Williams. I don't know what the, what the hell happened to Williams on since then, but Williams faded into complete oblivion. Right now they're the last, always the last cars on on the on the grid, uh, and the last cars in terms of technology. Uh, I hope this this brand the best, and I would love it to see it back on top. 2004 Ferrari F2004, another legendary car from Michael Schumacher. Renault F1 team, the first car not Williams that had the Renault team. This is one of the first um, cars strictly from that brand. The R26. As you can see, technology going haywire all over the place. We have a very weird front end, very weird middle end. I mean, this car was almost designed to be like a Starfighter or something, but very innovative, very beautiful to see. Two thousand and seven Ferrari. This car also adhered to all over the place technology and avionics, uh, advanced avionics technology. So the the cars are more like planes now that, that than cars. Um, they look like the, the 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 air intakes. Everything is to conserve energy and disperse energy back into the into the track the top um, most outrageous design is this one the 2008 mclaren mp423 a very controversial car extremely controversial it was filled with brand new technologies that other teams did not have and that other teams uh, accused McLaren of cheating. Of course, at the middle of the championship, it was branded that they weren't cheating. They were actually um, using technology for uh, their own benefit um, wisely. So this was a revolutionary car. As you can see, the uh, avionics and... and um, uh, aerodynamics of the car is all over the place this this car is sheer beauty in terms of insanity I mean look at this there's air filters everywhere air intakes everywhere uh, air dispersal um, uh, platforms all over the place this is technology taken to its outmost and then some Braun GP. This car is legendary as it is from a brand that no longer exists and uh, brought revolutionary tech technologies with it. Quite a beautiful car, very simplistic. And as you can see, they left behind the insanity of air intakes, air platforms anywhere and everywhere. And um, Basically, they went with the power of the engine. 20, 2010 Ferrari F10. Beautiful car. Very recent. 10-year-old car. As you can see, no longer with uh, insane air intakes everywhere. This is it's sheer engine power. Of course, a lot of aerodynamics, but well, I think they left um, the uh, aerodynamics uh, nut jobs a little bit less leeway. 2010 McLaren MP4 25. Beautiful car, legendary car from um, Lewis Hamilton. Beautiful car.
a winner. As you can see, there's still whispers of um, insane man with the aerodynamics in the front, but apart from it, very standardized, very beautiful car to look at. Red Bull Racing, legendary car that brought forth the legendary brand to F1. A little bit insanity here as well, but once one team adheres, everyone goes with it. So, quite a beautiful car to look at. And a winner as well. That's it for the uh, showroom. Theater. This is very interesting. Here, the um, previous sessions are saved for you to watch, so it's for you to spectate. And what's that? Well, um, actually, you get to review an entire Grand Prix here as a spectator. You can actually tell the, the system to um, go around random um, pilots, random cars, you know, just as a transmission of an F1 Grand Prix with all the emotion. No commentaries yet, that's a minus. I would love to have commentaries of the uh, um, legendary commentators of uh, F1 throughout the uh, the Grand Prix, but unfortunately not yet. Perhaps with the advent of the PS5 and the Xbox X series, this will become a reality. Here, um, I don't know how they're going to um, do this on the Xbox X series and the PS5, because this takes you to an external browser, something that something that does not exist on the PS5. So this will have to um, either disappear or um, be, become something else. Um, this is actually the news, the live news of F1 uh, throughout the world. So the 2020 championship. By the way, congratulations to Lewis Hamilton. He won it. Um, now, this is one of the first uh, ever uh, F1s that has in-game purchases, so I don't know if this is going to work, but I'm going to try. So you get to buy this. A super license. What is a super license? Um, a super license is a record of your time in the game, and, and it will be visible to other players that you meet online. Basically, that's it. As you can see. Now, the podium pass. The Podium Pass is internal item shop. Now, the item shop, you get liveries, you get icons, you get... Um, you, you, you get a little bit of everything in-game that you can customize for your rider, for your pilot, for your car, everything. So, brand new liveries, brand new uniforms, but this is with real life money, not internal credits. Be mindful of that. If you have the internal mail, be sure to check it out. Um, be, sh be sure to check this out every day because you can actually gain, uh, as you could see on here, the super license, you get to gain these trophies. Calendar, you get the calendar with the different activities. As you can see, I created those events on uh, my brand new league, and here they are. Split screen. Now, if you have another controller, this is the way to go, versus another person. So, uh, you go head to head with another person, mano a mano. Assists. As the name says, this is the assist that you can have during uh, a season of F1. 
DRS assist, um, steering assist, standardized stuff, okay? And of course the game options. Now, this is quite honestly the best F1 2020, is actually the best F1 ever. Because it brought back what we wanted to make our own team, to forge out our own reputation on the F1 merciless um, platform of uh, sport. This is a must have. By the way, if you cannot afford, because this game is still quite expensive, uh, if you can't afford this game, go for F1 2019, also a beautiful game. You have to experience the uh, rival rivalry between Alain Prost and Ayrton Senna. Buy that one, it's a lot, a lot less expensive, but if you get the opportunity, get this one. This one, this one is the central F1 of this generation of gaming platforms, okay? 10 out of 10. This is the first time I give a 10 star out of 10 star on a racing game. I will be reviewing other racing games quite um, in the coming weeks, but this one, 10, 10 out of 10, this is the title to beat. I hope you guys enjoyed this review. I will um, come back to you next week with another game. And be mindful that the YouTube channel will suffer changes on the very near future. See you then.